Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of October 2021. So I hope you're well. Remember Leo, these readings are for seven days only and they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. I'm doing the Celtic Cross this week. Felt like doing that layout. We have just looking at this card bad influences unsupportive family and friends drugs and alcohol bad habits some unhealthy energy here let's keep shuffling and see what else we get thank you chaser coming for you determined pursuit okay let's see what we have with that message for leo please remember these readings won't resonate with everybody leo so just take what resonates with you as always message for leo please for the week message for leo for the week what do we have please our lovely leos message for leo message for Leo thank you two of pentacles current energy crossing that we have the four seven of cups maybe some choices four of pentacles Knight of Swords in the immediate past. Eight of Cups in the immediate future. Hanged Man Energy. Enlightenment, or maybe waiting for enlightenment. The Tower in the environment. There you are, Hopes and Fears. And we have the Ace of Swords, the Clarity. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Ten of Wands. I mean, certainly there's something that's burdening you. Again, it can be vice versa energy, just bear that in mind. But this is an energy of burden. I feel, Leo, there's an energy of I mean, generally the ten of, ten of Wands means a burden over a significant period of time. And it's a ten, so it gets to that point where you want to deal with something, you want to release the burden in some way. And it's however, and the Ace of Swords is really the vehicle in terms of how you do that. So the clarity, the epiphany, the decision, the communication. Sometimes seeing the reality of the situation will allow you to make some decision or choice and that sword can come down and cut that cord that is of burden. Or it can certainly provide a solution in terms of how you release from it. We have the Knight of Swords, some kind of conversation, communication here. And the two of, of pentacles is a choice. It can be a choice between two paths, but somebody isn't really not making up their mind. I don't really know what to do. Do I go this way? This will happen. If I go that way, this will happen. It feels in this energy, someone's just still weighing something up. They're not sure. And it's to do with some kind of new beginning. The fool carving out your own path carving out a new path, sometimes going in a different direction. Do I, do I want to liberate from this or do I see the potential of a new beginning in this? Because there's an energy here of, of not giving to something anymore. There's certainly an energy here of I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to give to this anymore, but somebody hasn't quite made up their mind. I mean, you know, this could be in a relationship. This could be in terms of work. You know, the pentacles energy can be work related. Can also be in a relationship for some of you. 
Seven of Cups is some decision to make, but I'm confused. I don't know which way to go. I know a new beginning is needed, but I just don't know in what direction. And it might well be some news has come in that is maybe making you make some choice or decision. I mean, this can be some, sometimes it can be information or um, with some wisdom or knowledge coming your way that might be prompting you to make some kind of decision. So, for example, there could be some news to do maybe with a new opportunity um, that could be in terms of work related. And that's making you think, do I stay where I am or do I go in a different direction? can be comfortable sometimes to stay where you are, but somebody is confused. For others of you, I feel this is communication to do with a relationship. And there's some kind of choice to make, but someone is really confused. And it's to do with this. I mean, the Eight of Cups can be walking away or also going somewhere. Maybe in order to release this burden, whatever this burden is, it feels somebody is either walking away from it, saying goodbye to it, or somebody has to go and deal with what, whatever, whatever reason that this burden is created. Let's clarify this, this Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands, what is this burden? King of Swords, I've got the King of Swords with the Ace of Swords, somebody wanting to do the right thing but again standing in the light of truth, seeing things for what they are and therefore enabling yourself to make decisions and choices on that basis. It might well be somebody is giving you advice as well, King of Swords is very good in terms of bringing advice and communication and um, support, you know, maybe some supporting words somebody giving you some kind of advice here in terms of how to how to deal with a burden let's let's pull one more clarifier please for leo for that 10 of wands i'm going to shuffle the cards let me just shuffle a little bit let's pull one more for the king of swords and the 10 of wands please Six of Swords, which can be an energy of, of detaching from the source of trouble. You know, it can be Leo in this situation. Someone is, is either walking away and saying, bye, I'm, I'm done, I'm going to something better, because generally the Eight of Cups moves towards the Nine of Cups, the wish coming true, something that you really want, something where you feel fulfilled and satisfied on every level. But there's an energy here of, of, of something is is has disappointed this person or has let down this person or something's played its course and they just want to walk away it, or, or go somewhere i mean it might well be for some of you somebody just might be removing themselves from a situation for a period of time in order to get clarity you know go to stay with friends or family because the hangman is definitely an energy here of, of waiting for the clarity. I'm, I'm waiting for the epiphany. I'm waiting to understand how to move forward. Sometimes seeing how something plays out. But it's nice to see actually that somebody is really giving due consideration to how they do want to move forward. If there's an energy, if, if I'm not clear, it feels like such a big decision that I, I don't, I'm not going to make it quickly. So I'm going to wait until I'm really clear. I mean, the tower can be an awakening energy as well. In our own internal energy, it can be where everything does become, you know, the it can be that kind of awakening energy, certainly how, as I've put it next to the Ace of Swords. Let's clarify that tower. Thank you. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Lovers, which is a choice, generally in terms of a, an existing or committed relationship. I mean, the Lovers can also be a partnership. Uh, so, you know, this could be in res in, with regard to some kind of business partnership as well. I mean, the, the tower, 
there could be some significant choice or decision um, because the Tower Gemini brings change. It's the tearing down of the old in order to be aligned to the path that you, you need to be on. And generally there's some divine intervention in that, whether it's an internal tower, or there's some kind of awakening energy here. The, construct, the constructs that you'd built, whatever this relationship, whatever this partnership is around, come crumbling down in some way because there's a realisation. Or it can be in your external environment, some kind of significant choice that needs to be made. Because there's some kind of bad influence, which I feel in this situation has made, it feels like some partnership unstable in some way. I feel that there is, I mean, there's definitely an energy of some kind of significant change or life-changing decision or life-changing choice. But somebody is really stressed about it. There's a lot of stress, dis stress, anxiety, weariness, like we need to make some kind of choices here about how we move forward and how we bring significant change to this because we can't go on the way we are. And the King of Wands is, is you and your power, ready to take the lead, ready to take action. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I see my long-term future evolving and this is what I'm taking action towards. It's a go-getting energy. It's an energy of somebody who will take the lead, who's not afraid to face face challenges, face fears, face adversities, face them head, head on, you know, because it's time. So if someone's feeling it's time to take action and deal with this. And we have the Ace of Swords, clarity, seeing the situation, the reality for what it is, and that will enable you to make the choice, to, to decision, to communicate your truth, This energy of chaser coming for you, determined, pursuit. I mean, it feels in this energy, Leo. Somebody may be reluctant to give up on something or may be reluctant to deal with this situation here. I mean, this could be anything from dealing with I mean, you know, we have this here. I mean, it feels a little bit devil energy, this bad influences. It's either a relationship that has become uh, destabilized for whatever reason, and there's a choice or decision to deal with this now, and someone's ready. Certainly the King of Wands is showing, I'm ready. I'm ready to deal with it. Um, or it can be something that's affecting your relationship, so some kind of addiction or... I mean, you know, that the devil energy can be that energy of, of power struggles, manipulation, codependency, unhealthy habits. Whatever this Ten of Wands is, I feel somebody is facing it. And there's an energy of either removing themselves from a situation or going somewhere. You know, there's an energy of maybe traveling somewhere or going somewhere to get clarity maybe removing themselves from the situation for a period of time so that they can understand how to move forward. I mean, there's also an energy here, Leo, that this person may be asked to go somewhere. You need to go and deal with this. I mean, that could be towards the doctor or how do you heal it or how do we face this and, and deal with this situation because significant change has to happen. That's what I'm feeling. It is for a week, you know, uh, it is for seven days, so, but there's an energy of somebody who's going to get a real clarity, maybe asking advice from somebody, I mean, that can be anything from a doctor, a counsellor, you know, family member, friend. Final message for Leo, final message for Leo, please. I certainly feel that there's some supportive energy in this reading that's helping bring clarity feels like someone's giving you some level of advice. Okay, so we have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. 
We have divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity. Yeah, Ace of Swords. I mean, this is a new beginning energy, and it's generally brought about by the clarity that you're given by God, the universe, the divine. It is divinely inspired, the Ace of Swords. But it helps you see the big picture, everything for what it is, and then really understand how do I take action? How do I move forward now? It's an empowering energy for that reason. That's why it's a success and victory, because it's the victory over the lack of clarity that you had before. And it gives you the right way to go. So I'm seeing in this situation, whatever it is that you're dealing with here, Leo, you're dealing with it in the near future. And the message is, Spirit is giving you advice and saying it's the right thing to do. And I feel maybe there's somebody around who's giving you or helping you, uh, you know, bring clarity to a situation. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.